Hi everyone and welcome to Asus. Today I want to show you how to make this beautiful urn. I think it's called upcycling. It is called upcycling, which is better than recycling. Isn't it just fabulous? I absolutely love it and it's so easy to make. So let me get rid of that and let me show you what you need. Now, remember a couple of weeks ago, or you might have seen that when I made this, this was out of a terracotta pot with a saucer glued onto the top, put a bit of glue around there, undercoated it, painted it white and put a bit of gold onto it. Well, I'm over that now. And here's the first, this is how it started. So let me show you what you need to do. Turn this over like that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put that on there. Ta-da! So easy. I've already undercoated everything because I thought it was easier at the time. Right, turn that over, put that there, get the glue, and making sure it's going like that, Put lots and lots, you need lots and lots of hot glue for this project. Put that all around there. I actually thought if I wanted to do this for like long, long, long term, I would use no nails, but I just know that I'll probably change my mind, so we might as well just stick with it as it is. Right, make sure that that goes evenly all around into the center. Now put a bit of weight on it just for a minute until it just goes clunk clunk hard together. The reason why I'm not, as I said, um, I'm only using the hot glue is I probably will change my mind because <laughs> I do all the time. But, um, and it's easier to sort of like get a knife under there and, and whip it off. So for really easy projects like this, the hot glue gun will do. But if you want something long term, you use the no nails. Right, once that's onto there, turn that around to there and then just apply, apply a little more weight. Right, the next thing that I've got here is I've also shown you how to make these lovely Play-Doh roses. You can look through the clips to find those. These have been lying around for ages and ages. They're rock, rock, rock hard and they need to be undercoated before you start. So it's just a matter of working out where these are going to be positioned. Right, there's one and lots and lots and lots of glue again and the other thing is by undercoating them I know that, oh that stinks, by undercoating them I know that it's going to be easier to paint once these are all on. So just push that into there like so and make sure that that is really firmly into place and I've got another one here and just keep going until all of your roses have been stuck into, on the outside here now don't move, don't move. Make sure that they're all in place before you go too far. Right, I'll continue gluing these and I'll see you back in a minute with them all done. We should really invest in a speed up camera. Glued, assembled and ready to go. It's on to painting. And as I said, I undercoated so that I didn't have to go through the process of undercoating all of those roses. Now, I've also given you my recipe for my lovely lime chalky paint, which I'm now going to put over the top of this. Now, this stuff is fantastic. Normally, you don't have to undercoat with this stuff. And let me just show you. Down here, that's the first, there's two coats. Just one coat, no undercoating, ready to go. That's a second coat, and that is a third coat. Fabulous, and I've just got one base coat here. And let me just, I'll put my paint on that and put that down there for a minute. But these are the colors that I want to represent when I do the painting of this. And I only need one color, which is my base coat, and the secret ingredient, and this will be the hardest thing to find. In here, I have some cigarette ash. You've got no idea what I went to through to get that because I had to follow smokers could I please have your ash because that is all I need so it's quite nice to know that you don't need to have too many coats too many types of paints so that just gets one coat onto there let that dry and it doesn't matter how you put it on rough as rough doesn't matter just plop that onto there and then what I did if you can have a look at this bit here over here what I've got is the one base colour and then what I did was I dipped my paintbrush into there and then used that to just go over the top when it was still wet. So I'll just put a bit more down there like that and then into here 
look at that and then give it a good old mix up and then just slowly 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 just build up your colorway just by stapling that on there like that and then when it comes to the roses I just put a little bit onto there oops need a bit more paint putting it onto your roses and then a little bit more of that onto there and then what I did was I put my finger into here into a little bit more ash and then around the outsides of the roses to just get a little bit more dark I just run my finger around like that as you can see in this one over here you can see those little dark bits on the edge and then to get your colour around the edge all I did was just run that around like that as I've got that colour there and just let it slowly, slowly, slowly build up your colours and then walk away and leave it to dry. I've got a beautiful idea for a floral arrangement in that which I'll share with you another day. I hope you have enjoyed this. I will see you soon.